So how long could this suspension last and what influence will it have on trade negotiations? I spoke to Fred Tung for his point of view. He is the president at the America China Public Affairs Institute. Um, in terms of this response, I think that certainly uh, for China to refusing uh, United States uh, ship for port of call uh, certainly will have a response from the United States as well. I think that most recently uh, China had also had a ship went to visit Hawaii and so forth. Uh, so this could last a long time. <laughs> Well, we also know that some uh, U.S.-based NGOs are also part of this response. Um, could we see even more countermeasures from Beijing or even the United States? Well, I think both sides will have these actions take and tack and go back and forth with each other. Uh, as an organization, we are we do not support in terms of banning people from traveling. But I can understand this is a retaliation, a response to the U.S. Uh, China, uh, for a long time, have asserted that the National Endowment for Democracy, uh, DNI, IRI, and some of these U.S. organizations are supporting some of the uh, violence and protests in Hong Kong. And But this is also, uh, in terms of the money that's funding also being uh, supported by uh, Mr. Michael Pillsbury of the Hudson Institute. He on TV have said that, yes, the National Endowment for Democracy have spent millions of dollars <laughs> into Hong Kong. So I think that that just confirms it. So China, uh, as an action, feel that these organizations are working against uh, the good of, of, of their country, of, of their stability, so they want to uh, have action. But the action is not spelled out uh, in terms of specifically what they're going to do. We know that we are watching uh, U.S. President Donald Trump, whether he was going to end up signing this bill or not. Mm -hmm. um, and he did. So does this Hong Kong bill or law now put a trade deal between the U.S. and China in jeopardy? What does it do to the negotiations, if anything at all? Um, I think that since last March, when President Trump uh, talking about initiating a trade war, uh, China side at the beginning was very diligently trying to appease the United States by spending more money, buying more U.S. goods. But I think at the end, after what 11th round, uh, they realized that's not uh, that's not going to resolve the situation just by buying goods from the United States. And there's a lot of breakdown um, between the two sides in terms of what they want to do with each other. Uh, and uh, right now, certainly, this is not helping the U.S.-China uh, trade situation. But from China's side, they right now, they're kind of, uh, I wouldn't say they give up, but they, they are not really taking the U.S. side's uh, uh, approach very seriously because they do not think it's very sincere because they're not here to uh, really to negotiate a trade deal.